Hi everyone. Um, welcome back to Pilates. <laughs> um, I have a different setup today, so that's kind of it. That's all that's new. <laughs> um, yeah, if you have your mat, go ahead and lie down on your back. If you have TheraBand, um, I actually don't think we're going to use our TheraBands today, so you do not need to grab your TheraBand unless you want to. Up to you. Let's get started. So just go ahead, lie down on your back, feet on your mat so your knees are up, and your palms are just flat on your mat. Take a few deep breaths in your nose and out your mouth. Really sinking down into the floor. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, really filling up that rib cage and that stomach. And exhale, fully deflating as far as you can. And inhale. And exhale. Really slowing down that breath. You can close your eyes if you need to. Really tuning in back into your breath. And inhale. Exhale and tighten that belly just a little bit. Inhale again, and exhale, pulling those hip bones towards that rib cage without moving the pelvis. Inhale, and exhale, tighten that belly. Inhale, bring the arms up, keeping that belly tight, and exhale, press them down. Inhale back, exhale, press. Pressing those shoulders down, keeping strong arms, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, let's curl up, exhale. Really tight belly, not letting the glutes engage yet. And back, inhale. And exhale. Pressing those shoulders down, looking straight through the middle of your legs. Inhale back. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do our warm up 100s. So we just breathe in for two, then we go out two, in two, out two, in two, out two. Keep a tight belly, out two, in, out, in, out. Really strong arms. In, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, and come back down. Arms behind the head and come up into your crunch again. And inhale, lower. Exhale, coming up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And let's hold this one here. Let's bring our legs to tabletop. Still breathing here. Keeping that back close to the floor. Inhale back to lower. Exhale to come up. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, pull up tighter. Squeeze those inner thighs to keep those knees and ankles together. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, and lower. Exhale, 
Inhale, exhale, inhale on the way down. Exhale, inhale, exhale, and lower. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and inhale, last one. Inhale, exhale, and lower down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, and come up. We're gonna do our single leg lowering, so we just tap one, and up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Your abs should be getting tighter as you lower the leg. Inhale, exhale, trying to keep no space under your back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Really get as much of a true 90 degrees if you can. Still breathing. If your back is lifting, you can bring your knees in just a little bit. Inhale, exhale, last one. And straighten those legs. We'll take an inhale, lower. Exhale, back to our crunch position. And we're just gonna lower straight leg. And up. If you feel a clicking in your hip, then you just need to engage those abs even tighter and maybe not lower your leg so much. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Trying to keep the body really calm. The only thing squeezing super tight is your abs. Inhale, exhale. Last two, exhale. Last one, exhale. Go ahead and hug the knees into your chest. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. You can rock side to side. Giving your back a little mini massage. And shake your head a gentle no, releasing that neck. Take another deep breath in. Inhale, arms back, and we're gonna go into our classic 100s position. Exhaling, legs on the diagonal. They can be high or they can be as low as you can go without hurting your back. So we breathe in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in. Out, two, three, four, five, in. Out. In, out, in, out, in, out. Really strong arms. Out, two, three, four, five, in, out, in, out. Last one. Out, two, three, four, five. And hug those knees. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Straighten one leg and hold on to the other. We're gonna go into our vacation special. So lift that leg just a few inches off the ground if you can. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Curl up, holding on to that leg. And we breathe in for two counts, then out for two counts. We go in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. Three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. We're gonna go to straight leg. Exhale, inhale, exhale, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Last ones. And go ahead and ball, extend to high B. We're still breathing. You go inhale on the high V and exhale on the ball. Inhale high V and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Hands behind the head. We're gonna go into our crisscross. So same breathing in for two, out for two. In, out, in, out. In, out. Really reach those elbows and those armpits to those knees. Fully twisting those shoulders without twisting the hips. Inhale, exhale. In, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. Last one. Bring the knees up. And we lower down, exhale. We inhale to come back up. And we exhale. Really tightening those abs, not letting that back move at all. Only go as far as you can go. And hug those knees and relax. Shake out that head. Exhale. Let that back sink into the floor again. And those shoulders. Inhaling. And exhaling. One more inhale. And exhale. And go ahead and let's roll up sitting. Okay, we're going to go flip onto our bellies. Into our leg pull. So starting in plank position, inner thighs squeezing those ankles and knees together. Slight bend in those elbows. Being as straight as possible. Left one leg. We're gonna pull back, stretch that Achilles, going forward and switch. And try to just look straight down at your mat. So not dropping your head, not looking up, not looking side if you can. Still breathing through everything. And pull back and forward, pull back and forward, pull back, and forward, pull back, forward, really holding onto those abdominals, keeping a slight bend in those elbows, last two, and bring those knees down, stretch back into child's pose, take a few deep breaths here, And let's come back. We're gonna go into our push-ups. So we're on our quad muscle, which is just above our knees. So you don't wanna be on your kneecaps at all. And crossing those ankles, keeping those elbows tight and close to you. We drop one, up, two. On the go, as far as you can go, three, Keeping those shoulders down. Four. Five. Six. And seven. 
Go ahead and release those feet and stretch back into child's pose again. And come back up. Okay, we're gonna do a new form of push-ups from Pilates. So we are going to be standing on the edge of our mat. I'm just gonna adjust my camera so you can see me. I am up here. I'm going to roll down all the way and try to touch my toes. If you can't, that's okay. You just reach out farther and then you're going to walk your hands out to your push-up position. So we drop the head, we roll down, then reach out, walk one, two, three, four. We're gonna do one push-up, then we'll walk back again. One, two, three, four. Roll it back up, and we roll down, and we go one, two, three, four. Push-up, up. And walk it back. Two, three, four. Roll back up to standing. And drop the head. And walk it out. Two, three, four. Really holding onto those abs. Push up. And back. Two, three, four. Roll it up. Last one. Roll it down. And walk it out. And push up. <laughs> that one was getting difficult. And roll it back up. And go ahead and come back down to your mat. So that's just a, another way to do push ups in Pilates, more of a full body movement. Okay, so we're gonna go into our leg kicks. Legs are on a slight diagonal in front of you using those obliques to hold you up, pressing out of that shoulder so we don't sink into it over here. You can use this for stability or for an extra challenge. You can put the hand behind the head. We kick front and back too. Not moving the upper body at all. Really tight abdominals, using those arms for stability. Back, four, back. Five, back, six, back, seven, back, eight, back, nine, back, ten, back. And release. Release that arm. Let's switch to the other side. Legs on a slight diagonal. And we go front. Back, two, back, three, back, four, back. Really let that leg swing. Back, six, back, seven, back, eight, back, nine, and ten. And roll all the way to your belly. And let's stretch into a mini cobra or a mini swan. Holding onto those abdominals still a little bit to protect that back. And lower back down. We'll take an inhale and exhale. Press up just a little bit higher. And lower back down, exhale. Take an inhale at the bottom and exhale, coming back up higher than before. Keeping those abdominals tight, keeping those shoulders down. And lower down, stretch back into child's pose. Come back up. Switching back to our backs, we're gonna do the reverse leg pull. So flexed feet, 
arms with a slight bend, pushing up, really squeezing those glutes now and those abdominals. And we're gonna kick up one and two. So really get your hamstrings. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not letting those hips tilt at all. And 10, 11, 12. Really squeeze those buns. 14, 15, last one, and lower, back down. Shake out those arms. And let's stretch forward, stretching out our hamstrings. Release the neck as much as possible, shake it out, let it hang. And go ahead and flex the feet and pull on them if you want to. This will get more of your calf muscle in the lower leg. And roll it up. Opposite arm to opposite leg. <laughs> I forgot how to say that for a second. And I'm just crossing it slightly over, gently stretching out that outer hip, and we'll go into hip circles in just a moment. And release it back down. Switch to the other side, moving on to the outside of that foot. Sitting up as tall as you can. And lower it back down. We're gonna be on our hands this time on kind of our sacrum or our tailbone. Those legs out in front of us. We're gonna draw a nice circle in front of us, then reverse that circle. Trying not to move the upper body at all and around. And circle. Uh, make sure you're still breathing. And exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And there's a slight curve in your back in this position, keeping tight abdominals. You'll feel it in your hip flexors a little bit too. That's okay. And just a few more. Even yourself out, whichever circle. You did first, make it your last one. Sit up a little bit taller and face those palms towards the ceiling. Really deep abdominals. This is our teaser position. Face those palms to the floor. And hug those knees into your chest. This is our ball. Just some core control and stability. And let's go back into our teaser, reaching for those ankles. Still breathing. Inhale and exhale. And hug those knees into the ball again. Keeping those shoulders down. Really deep curve in your belly and put those feet down. Let's go into our spine stretch. Just release those hips a little bit. You can shake them, roll them a little bit for a second. Sitting up nice and tall, feet are flexed, legs the width of your mat. We take an inhale and exhale, drop it down. Two, three, four, five, six, and roll it up, inhaling, five, six, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, and inhaling, two, three, four, 
five, six, exhaling, really articulating that spine, keeping a deep curve in the spine, and inhale. Last one, exhale. And inhale. And go ahead. And let's lay back down on our mats just where we started, hugging those knees. You can walk them, making sure those hip flexors are released again. Or you can make a circle with your knees, massaging that back again. Maybe make a little U shape. Shake that head a gentle no. And place those feet back onto that mat. Closing your eyes, take a few deep breaths. Inhale. And exhale as slow as you can. Relaxing all the muscles of the face. Relaxing those hamstrings. Exhale slowly. Keeping those eyes closed if you can. Inhale. Exhale. And let's take one more really full breath. Inhale. As much air as you can and exhale all of it out go ahead and roll onto your side and push yourself back up to sitting and that is the end of today's class so thank you all so much for coming if you have any questions comments um, go ahead and leave them in the chat.